how's it going? <laughs> it's a pleasure to have okay. you. My name is Dorian Wilson, Program Coordinator at Amplify. Welcome to the video series where we highlight exceptional Amplify teachers to get to know them as educators and find out what they're grateful for. Today, we have an international Amplify star, lovely Coloma. Tell us where you're from and tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm from Philippines and I'm based here in Vietnam. So I teach in the American school as a kindergarten teacher. Nice. So I've been here in Vietnam for seven years and I've been teaching in this same school for, um, this is my eighth school year. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. that's, Im that's impressive. <laughs> Eight years. So what aspects of your school are you grateful for? Well, the aspects of my school that I'm grateful for is um, are actually, the first one um, is that most of my bosses are very supportive mm, and see. you can easily reach out on them and then just message them and they would immediately reply to you. Mm. And I just like the support system, Absolutely. especially for the past two years. And because it's it's not easy as an educator going to an online especially mm -hmm. in my on my side like I am a kind of person because I used to teach like early childhood so you know we act we run around we do a lot of like physical movements and online teaching is so tough yeah. so that's what I like about our, our school that they really support us like giving us what we need right um in the best they can and i bet that so support that's is super super helpful so mm -hmm. in in saying that what school relationships are you grateful for um i'm grateful for um, the relationships the first one is my with my students mm -hmm. <laughs> i love my relationships with my students because um i believe that one of the most important things in teaching educate or in teaching um job is your relationship with your students absolutely the, if you already established trust with the students if you already built relationship with their students like teaching them giving mm -hmm. them instructions like telling them things about what you're learning it would be not so easy but it make it easier Right. You know, and also the dynamics in the classroom or in teaching online is better. And also, aside from my relationship with my students, I also love my relationship with my colleague mm. because they are the colleague where um, I have some colleagues where I can just message them if I need. And it is like a safe environment where you made some mistakes or when you are tired or when you need someone to to just talk about what happened on your day like right. not every day is a good day like there are times where you just want someone to listen to you absolutely and they can't understand you because they are some they're we're in the same place like and also i like the way they support each other because when whenever they find like some activities that's very cool or like a uh, nice tricks in doing online like they would share it with me and like we're using seesaw so they would um, give suggestions of activities and what are the things that we can do more for the kids absolutely so and I, I, I bet that that kind of environment is just so helpful being a teacher so mm -hmm. how have you used your talents recently and what have you enjoyed about doing that? Because I'm a very active person. Mm -hmm. So um, online teaching is not easy. It needs extra effort. Oh, yeah. Like with your action, <laughs> like you need to be like, you cannot just teach like just plain face. You have to be very like... Um, you Big. act and you <laughs> right. have to be very like lively. So I guess that's one of the talents that I have that I re really used as an educator, mm -hmm. especially in online teaching. So because online teaching, you really need to be re really active, lively, making di different faces. 
Right. So just for a little bit of clarification, you are still teaching online. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Until now. Until now. So now you guys are back in the classroom. Um, we are reporting in our school twice a week, but with okay. no students. Oh, so you still are you're on campus in your classroom, but you still have to teach remotely. Yes. So then this next question just kind of fits right in. What aspects of amplified technology really make your life easier? All of them. <laughs> All of the above. Okay, well, you have to pick a thing. Because <laughs> um, it's our first time, actually. It's my first year to teach kindergarten. Oh. So I don't have any idea about, like, um, I have a little idea about the, the, the standards that we're using mm -hmm. and whatnot. But this is my first time to really teach kindergarten. Okay. And then when they gave us those uh, the, cur the curriculum Amplify, and then I looked at it, like, mm -hmm. this is it. Like, they have the slides. <laughs> right. I like the lesson at a, at a glance, wherein you can just read everything, and you know what um, are the expectations for the said lessons. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I also love the home e-learning, um, which I'm going to call it, like, um, the home e-learning. Um, things right like yeah. the slides and also it was compact the lessons were compact because um home e-learning is a little bit different and yes. it's a little bit hard for the students especially with science so it's hard because it is for me um i believe like with the science it needs more interaction like they can see it they can touch it they can feel it Alex, they can see yeah. the, the garlic grow because <laughs> we're in npa <laughs> right. right now so they really need to to see that but with the pictures that's being used within the book and also in the google slides it's very helpful because I noticed that most of my kids are doing the experiment also at home because I didn't require them to do it. Uh -huh. I just asked them like, if you guys can find garlic because we were also in, on a lockdown for five months. Oh goodness gracious, five months. So it was so tough for us. It was okay. tough for the kids. It was tough for us. Good thing I have a garden. <laughs> So I can show it to them. I have plants at home. I can right. show it to them. However, the the books, the very colorful books, the detailed mm -hmm. books really helped us. So to answer your question, I would say like all of the above. Even like it still saved, like everything. <laughs> <laughs> it saved me time. Like I just have to add a little tweak because we are ESL. Most of my kids are ESL. Okay. So um. They need like simpler um, words because um, I know I know most of my kids, they just maybe like two to three words in a sentence. Right. So at least what I love about Amplify is you already have all those things that the, ed, uh, that the teachers can really like get something. You know what I mean? That I don't yes. have to really like, oh, what, what should I do? What's, what would be the I next part? Right. Like, it's like, Thinking about the things like we are going to teach, how we instruct them through online is already hard. But having those um, available resources that we can get whenever we want, we can just, I, I love it that you are, um, we can edit the slides mm -hmm. and we can add, add videos, we can add our own words. So a little tweak and so on and so forth, like we can use the slides. So I just want to say thank you for oh. making our life easier. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. So I, I remember you saying, I'm just going to squeeze this tiny little question in there. I remember sure. you saying that um, this is your first year teaching kindergarten. Mm -hmm. What did you teach before then? And did um, you I was in those other, in the other areas that you taught? I was in early childhood for five years. Uh, for, yeah, for six years, actually. Mm hmm so it was more on practical life skills and everything. Gotcha. We teach science, but not this kind of very um, broad and this, very yeah. detailed and specific. Right. We, we, we taught them different things about science, mm -hmm. but this one is more elaborate, more um, experiment. Um, that's it. And then last year, I taught grade one. Okay. So, but we were more focused with um, language arts and math. And math. So this is the million dollar question. 
what mm-hmm. do you love about teaching? <laughs> teaching <laughs> is my passion. It's really my heart to mm-hmm. to really like interact with the kids. Because like I believe if you don't have a heart for the kids or, or teaching, you will not stay in this industry for so long. Absolutely. So um, what I love about my job, I don't consider it as a job actually, because I have a joy of like going to work. I love joy. I, I love, I have this joy of like doing my slides. I cannot go to bed if I am not ready. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? I want to give the best for my students. Absolutely. And also like, um, I love to interact with little kids because mm-hmm. they have this genuine love they have this honesty like their their heart is pure absolutely when and you talk to the them <laughs> mm-hmm. so when you talk to them you ask like any questions they will mm-hmm. give you answer based on what they think is right like you know that that answer is pure right and sometimes i learn a lot from them like they can make like they can be my stress sometimes when they don't listen and <laughs> right. do some stuff, right? <laughs> right? But most of the time they are my joy. Like they give me a reason to really just wake up and just excited to see them, asking them what they've learned. And like, especially when you see, like what I said earlier, right? I've been uh-huh. in this um school for eight years. This is my eighth school year. So I've seen the way when the first day in school where they don't know how to wear their shoes, they don't know how to write letters, they don't right. even know how to speak, but now they can talk, they can write, they run around in our um, campus, right. and then they even play basketball. It's like, I've seen this kid like can, couldn't oh. like wear his shoes and now he's doing a great job. So for me, that's one of the best or the price I guess or it's very fulfilling as an educator to see the growth of the student and I guess no one can like the money cannot pay for that Mm-mm. like that kind Don't of experience <laughs> mm-hmm. it's like I'm I'm okay like seeing my kids grow and seeing I, I call them kids like I don't just treat them like my students. I some, I always call them my kids because the moment that we are in the classroom, you are my responsibility Absolutely. and I care for you. And oh, what wonderful. I do, it's not because they are paying for me. What I do because I love doing it. I love sharing the vision. I love shaping or molding the kids in a way where, where um, they can grow and flourish. So that's one of the things that I really love about what I do. That's why I've been in the same school mm-hmm. for eight years because I'm staying in the school because of the kids and I love them so much. Oh, it's such a joy to hear when teachers like absolutely love what they do. And, and thank you for talking with us today and sharing all the things that you are thankful for. We look forward to sharing more teacher experiences. And as always, we are grateful for you. Thank you. And we're grateful for you too. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Thank you.